Uh, this video is about document templates uh, for the patient. They are managed in um, the communication file. So we go to the patient uh, file and click on communication. At the moment the communication list is empty. We'll click on the new document. On the left side there's a document template manager. On the right side there's a preview. So if I <coughs> select any template from the list uh, you can see I, I have a, a, a quick preview on the right side of the template. I will click plus to create a new template. I'll give it um, a name, um, let's say demo template, and um, at the moment it's empty so I've got a body to fill in with some um, preset information. I can start with the header and um, insert uh, the full practice uh, uh, logo and practice details. I can resize my um, logo if I need to, and then I can start placing um, the item. I can uh, format my document in um, any way I like. I can uh, change the alignment, can change the fonts, um, can change their size, um, and then I can insert uh, what we call macros or data placeholders. Um, those placeholders will be replaced uh, by the actual information from the database when a document is uh, created based upon this template. So what I'll do, I'll put the patient uh, details uh, to be printed on um, uh, the window face envelope or for the window face envelope rather and I'll put patient first name, patient, oh, sorry, patient full name, patient street address and patient suburb and, and postcode. Um, then uh, I will select uh, one of the miscellaneous uh, um, placeholders uh, for uh, today's date and uh, we'll align it uh, to the right. Uh, next I'll uh, write some sort of message, uh, dear, and then uh, put a placeholder patient uh, first name and then uh, follow it by um, some kind of text. I may use some formatting tools to move my um, address um, or rather patient's address um, to align with the um, face on the window face envelope and then I can um, enter some more text. Uh, you will find there are a few um, various uh, placeholders uh, that serve different purposes and that allow you to create uh, a fairly sophisticated content um, that is automatically filled in with the data from the database. So what I will write, I will just write that um, our records show that um, uh, you had your last appointment with and then I will select the last appointment uh, provider and then on and then I will select the last appointment date. So the message will read, um, our records show that uh, you had your last appointment with say Dr. Smith on let's say October the 1st 2015. Um, I will oh, can also write something like you know your balance oh sorry your your amount owing or your balance um, uh, total balance with the clinic is this and that and, and I can select a placeholder to um, um, reflect that actual data so I will just use the patient uh, uh, total account balance for example so that will be replaced by the patient account balance the real one when the letter is created based upon upon this template. Um, generally this template is uh, template editor is quite sophisticated um, you know as I said it, it allows you to to apply various format formatting um, font size, uh, font boldness, italic, uh, font color, um, font, font background, um, you know various um, types of, of alignment um, as well as lists and, and, and uh, uh, you know sorted lists, unsorted lists and so on and so forth. So uh, it also um, uh, allows you to uh, insert tables uh, that are very flexible as well. Um, so the tables are quite intelligent so you can uh, work pretty much the same way as they do work in, in um, Microsoft Word. So you can select a number of columns, a number of rows, and you can start typing in the table. Uh, the table will automatically try to format at the best, best fitting. Um, you can um, 
you know, it will, sorry, it, it will um, also uh, insert next rows if you're using tab as you would do in any other application that deals with the um, uh, uh, with the tables. Um, you can insert text there, you can format the cells, uh, you can insert images inside of the inside of the uh, tables as well. Um, the template also allow you to to um, um, you know um, insert information about your your, your clinic, um, your clinic address, um, you know your clinic name, uh, and so on and so forth. So what I'll do, I'll just write yours truly and we'll put the um, a clinic's business name there um, at the bottom of my letter. So practice business name as a placeholder. So you can see the placeholders are uh, easily visible. Um, they do have um, uh, the description of what they are. Um, so you know you can you can see in your template what your template will look like once once it is um, um, used for the document document creation. Um, as I said, you can also use uh, lists, and I'll just quickly I'll just type one, two, three, and just can use um, dotted list, or you can have numbered list. And, and, and um, if I now start inserting the next line, it will be automatically numbered. <coughs> so one, two, three, four. And I guess at this stage, um, I would say that my template is uh, basically ready. I can also add other elements to it, like, like images, signatures, or, 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 or something else. But let's presume that template is ready. So um, it's called demo template, and that's a preview of my template template um, in the uh, uh, in my template manager. Uh, what I would want to do, I would want to create um, a, a new document based on my template and you can see I can either double click on the template name or I can click on that green button uh, uh, and and create a new document based on based on that template. So just as I say double click or click click a green button and that creates a new document. So you can see the address is inserted, the day is today's. Dear John, uh, uh, you have your last appointment with Dr. Brian Lemecki on the 7th of the 10th, 2014. Your balance is at zero and yours truly uh, the, business, the business name. You can also insert images um, by clicking the insert file. Uh, you can see there are two images uh, uh, that are patient images and there are six images that are, by, are by practice level images. Um, so I've just inserted one of the patient x-rays, so patient has two x-rays um, in his records. And I can print out this letter and send it, send it um, you know, to the patient, I guess. So uh, what I'll do, I'll just run a, a quick PDF preview and that's the resulting, resulting letter. Uh, sorry, it doesn't fit too well on the screen, it's a little bit outside of my, my screen, but um, you get the idea of, of what the printing uh, would be like. I can resize uh, this image if I like to, or keep it intact um, without resizing, uh, then it will preserve its original, original size. Uh, you can see there are uh, certain images that are uh, practice level images, um, so they are available to every patient. Um, and what I can do, I can insert, well, let's say, uh, an advertising panel, that this month special for for implants or or something else, and I can email uh, this document uh, to a patient as well. So um, the documents can be emailed or printed out. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know the templates would work for both for for emails or or the documents for pr printed documents or for email documents. So. Once I clicked um, save, you can see I've saved um, a document. So there's a document now in the patient file. And uh, I'll just go to the management section and go to practice images. And you can see there are six uh, practice images, common uh, images uh, managed in this practice. And I will just add yet another image to be available to me um, in the communication uh, section. 
at every patient file. So these are practice level images. So what I'll do, I'll select ADA logo, um, just write a little note there, let's say ADA, IDIA logo, and upload that um, to my uh, practice. So you can see now there are seven images um, um, available to me on the practice level, so every patient file would have access to those images. And I'll, what I'll do, I'll just go and edit that particular document. That's not a template anymore, this is a, a document based on the template. And I will just insert um, that image uh, inside of this document. So I'll go and click again on Insert File, select the image that I just um, uh, uploaded, uh, resize the image, um, you know, align it, uh, place it anywhere I like. Um, say left, right alignment, um, place it in the table or something, and again print it out, uh, save the document, you know, or or email it. Um, you'll see it with the table, as I said, you can uh, do a few things uh, manipulating the table uh, with the right click. So right click, cell, cell properties, you can change things like the border color, background color, I'll make the header sort of bluish, bluish color. Um, you can merge the cells, uh, you can split the cells, so you can merge them both vertically and um, horizontally by right click on cells, merge cells. Um, you can insert um, text there, you can insert images there, um, you know, the, the, the table will resize automatically. I'll just copy paste this image uh, inside of the table, table cell. So a few things you, you can do, you can, um, you know, make text bold, you can color it, um, um, you know, or, or format the text, or change the font, font, font size, and so on and so forth. So that would be my uh, uh, the preview of my document um, as I have um, saved saved it now, and uh, that stays in the patient patient uh, patient file as a communication with the patient. Uh, also, uh, you can create folders. Uh, folders um, are a convenient way of organizing your files, so I'll just call this one demo folder. Uh, but it's not only that. So on, on top of just organizing your, um, your templates, um, so you can just select the template uh, and drag it um, inside of the folder. So let's say I'll just grab this sum template uh, uh, in my demo folder and I'll just select uh, another template, let's say my new template, and I'll also drag it inside of the demo folder. So as I said, on, on top of just simple organ organizing your files, you can use the folders uh, for folder actions. So folder action can be invoked either by clicking that yellow button uh, that says click, click for uh, the folder action, or you can double click on the folder that does the same. So the folder action creates the documents based on every template that sits in the folder. So if we, if we had two templates there, you can see with a single click I have created two documents um, in there. So it's easy to create sets of documents uh, and then create them with a single click um, on, on the folder. Um, they are normal documents that can be um, uh, emailed and um, um, saved and kept in the patient communication file for the future reference. So that concludes the Practica template uh, manager.